Hey people, it's a Pilgrim and welcome back to the Valheim Half and Home update. I just wanted to talk about tar, um, sort of how to acquire it and, and where it's found and all the little things that come along with it. You're going to need it to build the new Dartwood structure set. So like the roofs and some of the new pillars, the doors, things like that and some new furniture as well. The idea behind it is that the, the tar seals the wood against weather so it's a bit more weatherproof, a bit more harder. The tar is a brand new resource and it comes along with a new place to find, which is a tar pit and you can locate them in the plains. So there's a lot that comes with it, so we'll, we'll get on to it. Yeah, so get yourself to the plains, find a tar pit, and if you thought the mosquitoes were, you know, a little bit of a frustrating enemy, you've got to meet these guys. They're called growths and they live in the tar pits and they have a... AOE that they fire, which will poison you, and also give you the tar debuff. That just completely slows you down. They've got no cooldown. If you get two or three of them, it's a constant barrage. And yeah, I've used shields and everything, and they are virtually unstoppable up close. So I found the best idea was, find yourself a tar pit, give it a really wide berth, find yourself a high point, and I've equipped myself with a hunter's bow that's fully upgraded so like uh, was it three or four upgrades on it and a bunch of iron arrows and I've found that's pretty much the best way of taking them out you do need to find somewhere that's got some cover you can kite around so if you pull them around something uh, maybe one of the big uh, stone towers or uh, yeah or if you can find like one of these little stone bases nearby you can use that as cover uh, you should be fine from there and yeah i'm not the best archer in the world but i do get a few nice shots off here so that was a one shot that was fully drawn back and fired from a distance if you're just taking it quick you know you take a good chunk of um damage off them but look i, I use that to sort of hide behind to stop getting hit and that worked really well so yeah get your distance get a really decent bow and take them out from from afar if you can I'll just keep missing like I did. <laughs> but yeah, the stone the stone really negates it. And they do damage stone as well quite a lot. There's a couple of pieces of stone down on the floor. This is a nice shot. Check this out. That's the last one. I thought that might have been one, but no, it's just tar on the side. So yeah, once you're up close and you've took all your enemies out, the tar is just sort of scattered about. They do drop a little bit of tar themselves as well, which is good to collect. The tar that's fell into the tar pit is basically stuck. I'll show you that in a sec. Get attacked by mosquitoes. But I've noticed, look, they've got a little bit of sort of a, a pause. You know, like usually like when they hit you, they, as soon as you turn around or try and get a hit, they're gone again. There seems to be a slight pause now when they're fighting, which is brilliant. So yeah, the tar, if you stand on this side of it and click it and just grab it as quick as you can, any that falls in the pit is stuck. You can go so deep into the tar and then you get like the, the debuff. I think it's like once you're swimming, when it's over waist height. The tar scattered about, I think I got about 40 tar in one tar pit. So it's a pretty good haul really, once you've killed them all as well. Oh yeah, there's another thing. If you're carrying on with the map you've already been playing for a while, the tar pits will only spawn in plains areas that you haven't discovered yet. So you have to go out and find them. I also found that if you take a hole with you, you can raise the land inside the tar pit. And if you just click once over it and then hit it with a um, pickaxe, you can collect the tar that's stuck in there. If you've travelled all the way out here and you've put that effort into getting it, you might as well you know, collect up every little bit. So yeah, just be prepared. Keep your distance. Get a really decent arrow. Uh, bow and arrow and you, you should be sorted. So, yeah, just back in my little town. Um, I've, I've laid everything out. This is pretty much everything you can build that you need tar for. So you've got the big gates that are very similar to the ones that you see in the trailer for Half and Home. So they've got the black tarred wood in them. You've got the wolf and crow garments. You've got all the new um, wooden structures, pillars, beams, some window um, or like room room partitions whatever you want to call them but they really could all that nice viking knotted uh, artwork on them 
detail. And then you've got all the roof sections, the 26 degree and 45 degree pieces that we need, all tarred and weatherproof. And then we've got the big feasting table, a round table, a new black iron chest that also needs, all these need tar. And then you've got the hot tub as well. You need tar to seal that up. And the little chair at the end. There we go, guys. That's everything you, you need uh, tar for and how to get it. You just got to remember to go out and find new plains biomes that you haven't un, you know, uncovered yet. And you'll find the tar there. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to start building. I just thought I'd better do a quick video about this because you won't be building anything unless you've got the, the, the new resource. But yeah, it's uh, cool. Really frustrating enemies, though. Like I said, if you get up close, that AoE is devastating. And they're slow, and then you try and shield, and then your stamina runs out. It's just crazy. But yeah, hope you're enjoying the, the new update, guys. And I will catch you later.